This is unusual. Something different from the Bangladesh. Right. Straight away. Welcome to Test Match Cricket, young man. That's gone all the way. What a start. Well, there have been starts for bowlers where they've picked up a wicket of the first ball. I don't know how often this has happened. First ball in Test Cricket. Bam. Six for the big man, Chris Gale, there. Effortless. Didn't bother to run here. Hit it from the middle part of the bat. It was pitched up. Entertainer. Any batsman who can hit the first ball <laughs> of the first test for a six has to be an entertainer. And then he plays this shot. Shot of the morning so far. Straight bat. Hits the middle of the bat. And he gets four for it. Classical. Lovely touch from Chris Gale on that occasion. Oh, you give him uh, room, he'll put you to the third. Another one bites the dust. End of the over, 31 without loss. And I think this is one of those instances. Hasn't worked out too well. But what's happened here? That's the end of Chris Gale. Just as I said, it hasn't worked out too well. He's on his way back. <laughs> it's the commentator's curse. And and you've got to give credit to young Ghazi and, and the captain here because this is obviously what they wanted. They don't mind losing a few runs early on if they can get the big wicket. And they have. That is a fantastic wicket to get early on. It certainly is. Um, you can spend a few runs to get a big wicket like Chris Gale. He's worth a lot more than the 24 runs that he got. So things have worked out well for Bangladesh even though it didn't seem as if they were working out in the beginning Chris Gale goes for 24 and it's 32 for 1 and Bravo's the new man in West Indies have just lost Chris Gale and what a big wicket to have as your first wicket in test cricket Well, just too full and too wide. And uh, a shot that most left-handers relish. Bravo puts that away. Down the wicket, over the top. And it's going to go all the way. And it's gone for six runs. A superb strike. So taking back the attack to the newcomer. A very positive approach being shown here by the West Indians. Yeah, knowing that the two fielders are mid-off. A little wary. And there, another dot ball, which is so very crucial. Uh, it's in the slot, but it's got the toe end of the bat. And it's travelled away. Thickish outside edge to the deep backward point boundary for four runs. Again, erring in line there, Rubel Hussain. Can't afford to do that. It's the width, uh, even though he got an outside edge of the bat, uh, it flew. They've lost the big wicket of Chris Gale, but they take this. It's been a steady start. They've got two batsmen in Powell and Bravo who seem to be getting their eye in. And this looks like a pitch where once you get your eye in, once you get set, you could just plunder runs. Let's go, let's come, let's there have been nine 400 plus totals in eight previous test matches here. Just goes to show what a good batting track this is. He's gone this time. Another wicket for Ghazi. No ricochet of the fielder's helmet this time and it's a clear decision. Soft dismissal. Try to play a ball which is a little bit away from his body, getting a top part of the bat and a soft machine loves it straight to the hands of Rubul Hussain. And once again is the youngster debutant Shoha Ghazi gets the breakthrough. After both these bats are looking good for a big one. Taran Brava gone for 14. West Indies 74 for 2. Uh, who has uh, been uh, adjudged the man of the match and the man of the tournament in the recently concluded World 2020. 43 matches for him. 
more than 2400 runs 417 fifties best of 123 we'll be looking uh, to spend some time in the middle because uh, they need partnership here looking for a run which is not there but uh, once expected of test cricket well, it's a fantastic shot gets to the pitch of the ball drives it elegantly through cover this is going to be an interesting duel between these two Nicely played by Samuels for a single to end the over. It's 80 for two. Top shot of the back foot. Just leans back and places it elegantly to the right of point. Didn't bother running for that at all. Even though there is a bit of keep it down. Took that off the stumps, but it's four. Could have been a if that's what gets him through the crease. I reckon batsmen just need to get used to that as well. Short, wide, and put away, but uh, thankfully for Bangladesh, straight to the fielder, just a single. It was uh, there to be hit uh, to the pace bowlers to swing the ball a bit. White put away in style but again straight to the fielder and it's a no ball that's uh, my memory serves me right and Gary our stats man is going to connect correct me if I'm wrong that's no, four no ball so far way over that's not on yes just into the last ball of the 25th over put away with an angled bat and that's going to reach the boundary now Nicely put away. Four more runs. Just over pitched. And he'll be really holding his head on that one. 100 for two. 25 gone. Blight stat. And uh, that's good to see from Shakib. Though the ball has been put away nicely in the gap through the extra cover region. Four runs. Superb shot. But uh, Shakib will not uh, be too with that one end of the 26th over but then again as we speak <laughs> there might be something out of the ordinary and a wicked might fall and we'll all be proved wrong yep. pull the way short and oh as I said as I spoke that something might happen it has indeed happened a short pitch innocuous delivery pulled away and straight down the throat of deep backwards Kralek that is a big strike. Superb catch. Short and put away. Had to come in forward. Dive in front. And took a brilliant catch. I think that's uh, Shah Ghazi, the youngster, once again. Taking a brilliant catch. And look at the Shahad Hussain go. Knowing that it is a big wicket of Manuel Samuels. And he's done the trick. He goes back for 16. And uh, West Indies in a spot of bother at 106 for 3. Settling down, calming his nerves. And that definitely is the end of the over. Up come the bales and that means lunch is taken. On this, the first day of the first test match between Bangladesh and West Indies for the Sahara Cup. The West Indies winning the toss batting starting off with a bang and then the Bangladeshis bowling intelligently and clawing their way back and at the end of the first session I'd imagine that Bangladesh have got the upper hand and uh, that is a very positive indicator for the future of Bangladesh cricket the two batsmen Paul not out on 41 and Shivner and Chandapal who's just come in just uh, walking back uh, to the pavilion as are the Bangladeshi boys who must be a reasonably happy and satisfied lot after the performance so far.